Hello, it's a me, Ali, and welcome back to another episode on the Dinner Craft server. Today, I'm actually going to start off this episode with a third person time lapse, getting the rest of my mushroom base complete. So, with that being said, let's jump in into it, shall we? Guys, so I got it complete, and I gotta say, I think this is the coolest thing I have ever made in Minecraft. I did a mega grind, and I know that time lapse was super long, but holy carpfish, this is amazing. I love it so much. I I can't even like, I can't even. I'm just, I'm so proud of this. It just looks so good. So, while I was building this, I honestly was thinking about this area that I've already terraformed around here. And I think it would be better if I actually made mycelium kind of radiating out from the stump. So it looks like this big mushroom is spreading an infection around the island. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear up a bunch of this grass again. <sighs> Replace it with mycelium and then kind of build up grass around the edges of this island to make it look like it's slowly being corrupted by the giant mushroom. So I'm going to build some, like, spores floating out from the mushroom. And so it looks like... And then, like, I might do, like, a big grassy patch over here with the little patches of mycelium where some of the spores have landed. And I might mix in some purple concrete powder to give it some texture and variation. 
I know that the purple concrete powder is a huge contrast to the purple of the mycelium. But other than that, I really can't think of a good way to texturize the mycelium without it just looking like too contrasty. So I'll, I might do some testing here and there and try to figure out what looks good together. But for now, I need to go meet up with more of the diners. Because we need to figure out what is going on with Alito. Boop. Oh, hello? Are we having... Oh my gosh, guys! Hey, Alito! Hey, Good to see Alito. you again. Oh. <laughs> hello! Hey. How's your life been in this... Good. Good, good, good. You know, I, I, read in, I read in my room. I'll show y'all later, but why are y'all all here? Well... Uh I have called you all to a meeting because there's something new that has come up. The council has given me this vault key here and this key leads to the vault where the tax diamonds are stored. So I was thinking this is a great opportunity to strike back. What do you all think? Ooh. Oh, revenge. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Have, you want to have revenge? I, I... I think this is a, a wonderful opportunity that has presented itself. Although, um, I feel like before we get too far into this, there's uh, maybe uh, one other thing that we should address first. What? Well, um, why is everyone looking at me? Uh, Mark, so uh, in Alito's trial, I couldn't help but notice that you were the one who wrote down on the paper that he was innocent, or at least you should have, and then hand it to him, and then the judge read it as guilty, which uh, looks kind of suspicious on you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did nothing of the sort in terms of dwindling or backstabbing or did nothing of the sort. <gasps> Mark, did you it's... set me up? No. You want me dead? I, I have body cam footage. I didn't do that. I can show you the footage. You could you still make that footage. But why would he read off guilty then? Yeah, that know. is pretty... The, the, something's not right, but it wasn't me. Uh. Well, it's either the judge or it's Marks. And I'm very unsure who to trust now. I mean, the judge was kind of a shady character, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know, it just, it kind of looks bad on you, Marks, but if you say we have, you have proof that you're innocent, then I guess we can all review that footage. And if it shows that you're innocent, then, man, I don't know. Who could it have been if it wasn't Marks? Well, obviously not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm pretty yeah. sure you're clear this time, Alito. <laughs> I mean, we can always check the book. I'm sure there's like an imprint of the verdict that I wrote down in the book. I suppose. Uh, um, Maybe. I don't know. Something. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I my heart would be broken if you if you if you done this, Marks. Yeah. I, it... I promise. It wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I voted mm. for your innocence. Okay. Mm. Um. We want to believe you, but right now there's so much going on, and we feel like we can't trust anyone anymore and it, it would be horrible if one of us would betray us but if you I have proof then I, I built the escape system and everything that's true that is like, true you figure somebody who was guilty wouldn't have gone to all that effort and but i mean if true. marks really is innocent then that begs the question is one of the rest of us guilty of tampering do we have and that's a, a scary thing to think about that's a scary thing to think about or, or it was just the judge i mean uh, like yeah, he pretty, it could be he's pretty shady he's pretty shady yeah i don't 100 percent trust the judge you're right miss Murray. it was Can I ask a question judge, but... yeah who yeah. was the last to sign on the petition i know mars just gave it to the judge but who was before mars who was it I mean, it, it was, we all were in agreement and Marks wrote down on the, 
paper okay. the verdict for all of us combined. And then as far as I know, you handed the paper to the judge, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. He, he came down off his chair and took it out of my hand and then read the verdict. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. You could have had another piece of paper and... Oh, we should have asked for it back. That's true. Yeah. Like, yeah, if we'd asked the judge for the piece of paper, then we could have told for sure. Because if the piece of paper said innocent, then it was for sure the judge who mm -hmm. was tampering with stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, hindsight is mm. 2020. But I guess there's not much we can do about it now. Well, that is certainly a conundrum, isn't it? And since the filming of those clips, Mark's got arrested. What? is even happening on this server anymore. I came here, everything was fine. Then there's like this evil council. And now Marks did all this work in the shopping district and he got arrested for it. Like, what is this injustice? What is this injustice? We need to figure out a way to get back at the council. We need to figure out a way to make them pay for all of the atrocities they are committing on this server to us diners. But that's going to have to wait for another day because now I need to meet up with Sev because we are going to sign up for Mega Bubfish's Build a Biome Contest. So I will see you guys over in the minigames district so that we can get an idea of that area hey guys i've met up with sev here and we're going to sign up for mega bubfishes build a biome contest here in the are you laughing at me no oh <laughs> anyways <laughs> we're here at mega bubfishes build a biome contest and we're gonna sign up for it we decided that we had a idea so let's go ahead and grab this biome claim book i guess and oh you got it oh i took it okay <laughs> so we decided on the orange part didn't we yes so we're going Oops. to take over the orange section we decided we like it because it's got this like little bit of a lake feature and it's shaped different it's not whoop you need your wings to fly lee uh, oh that's why i can't i don't have any of my armor on uh. but yes it's shaped a little different than the other plots and so yeah i we yeah we like it right yes i feel really inspired when i look at this Little shore and a little lake. Yeah. This is gonna be great. Okay, so I guess we can get all of our resources and then start designing something. I mean, we don't really have a plan, do we? <laughs> Not really. I mean, a basic idea, but <laughs> I'm sure this we'll get there in the cool. end. Yeah. We will get there, yes. Go Team Orange! <laughs> team Orange! Alright, well, it has been a few days in real life since that last segment that Severitas and I filmed together. We did some testing in a creative backup of the world, got some ideas flowing, we have a general picture in mind of what we want to do, and I'm really excited to get started on this project. I believe Sev and I are still the only ones signed up for this game, so I'm excited to see what other diners end up signing up and what they come up with. But for now, I'm going to actually head on back to my base because it's going on nighttime. And I really, really want to show you guys what that mushroom looks like all lit up. Okay, well, I'm back on my island. It really doesn't take long. The mini games district is like two seconds away. But 
since with the sun going down and everything, I'm going to finish out this episode looking at the underside of this mushroom and talking to you guys for just a second. I've had kind of a rough week, couple weeks, and so I apologize that this episode is coming out a little later than normal. I absolutely adore the way that this looks. It's the most complicated build I've ever attempted in Minecraft. If you've watched any of my single player series, you know, this is outside the realm of what I'm really comfortable with doing. And I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. And honestly, this is like a pick-me-up I really, really needed because I've been having some creative blocks. I've been extremely busy, pretty stressed out in real life. And so coming on here and finishing out the episode, looking at something that I did that just turned out better than I could have ever hoped for, really, really, really brings my mood back up. But with that being said and everything, I really, really want you guys to go and check out Severitas and Marks and Mega Bubfish's episodes that you may have missed. We have, I don't know, probably you haven't, but if you did, go check out their episodes because things have been progressing without me on the server. And yeah, their episodes explain it better. And I just, you know, we, we need to do things. We need to catch up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A quick reminder, and I will put a link in the description below to go check out Severitas's applications for Season 1 and 2 Dinnercraft video. Because, well, by the time this comes out, applications for Season 1 will have closed. But applications for Season 2 will be open until we finish out Season 1. So, please go check that out if you feel like you want to. Go ahead and fill out the application. We have been reviewing people and chatting about it. And if... I mean, it never hurts to fill out the application. I mean, whether you get accepted, whether you don't, I mean, at least you you looked into it and you tried or you know if you're just you know if you're a content creator just give it a shot you never know you you never know and we never know so well, we never know until you know we see you we see what you got so with that being said i will see you all the next time Au revoir.